Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to be constructing an accessory um, from scratch and we're going to be showing you how you can uh, define all the parts of that accessory um, with the uh, avatar uh, builder so you can control uh, all the different parts and make a pretty cool prop in the end. So we're going to kind of model it after this project here. If I press play you can see that we have this uh, kind of claw coming from uh, maybe a UFO or whatever. It's uh, capturing this hapless little uh, AT base dude and lifting him up. We're going to basically be recreating that. So let's take a look at, uh, let's go over to our uh, scene manager here and we can select our uh, dummy non-human character which is uh, controlling our uh, prop here. And you can see now that I have uh, the, the uh, dot controller um, defined as uh, moving the uh, uh, claw side to side up and down. The variation slider will kind of open and uh, close it right on his head right there. So let's go ahead and get started on constructing our own from scratch. So I'm just going to go to project new and go ahead and start a new one from scratch. Now we're going to be using uh, primitive shapes just to create this uh, structure. Um, so first of all what I want to do is go to the set tab here and we're going to be using just just uh, balls and cylinders here. So I'm just going to go down to uh, find my cylinder as well. And let's take this uh, sphere, we'll just move that way up there somewhere. We'll take this uh, cylinder here and just uh, scale that down using the R hot key again. And I'm going to just zoom out a little bit we can uh, scale that up on the z-axis to create uh, um, the uh, shaft for our uh, section here. And then let's take uh, the sphere and bring that a little bit further down. Maybe a little bit closer to the edge of the cylinder there. And there we go, we have half of our part. So what I want to do now is control, click and drag the sphere so I can make another copy of it. And boom, there we have uh, our one section already. So let's uh, twirl down the content manager for now. And what I want to do is just name these. Uh, we're going to name the uh, hierarchy as we go along just to avoid confusion later on because the hierarchy when you're dealing with multiple parts like this can get a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and just call this one uh, lower hinge. And then we'll select our cylinder. We'll call the cylinder uh, body. And for the ball we can just call this one upper hinge right there. And then what I want to do is attach these to each other. So we'll select the lower hinge select it, attach it to the body, select the body, go ahead and attach that to the upper hinge. Now what we want to do, you can see here that uh, we have this part all ready to go, but what I want to do is make sure that the pivot point is correct, because at, at this point we don't want to use the pivot point um, at the base of this sphere, we want the entire structure to be um, um, pivoting from the very top of the sphere. So what I, what I can do is actually on the right hand side here, I can go into my pivot section here and just select uh, if I zoom in a little bit closer, you can see a little bit better. You can see that the pivot point is now at the base of the sphere. I just want it to move to the uh, upper center of the sphere. And that's where we want to rotate from right there. So you can see that's the uh, uh, rotation point right there. So let's go ahead and uh, merge this entire uh, prop here. Uh, if we go into the attach section and go ahead and merge it, we'll just have one single upper hinge. So let's create a number, number of different uh, parts here so we can complete our claw. Uh, so I'm just going to control click everything basically. You can see I'm just control clicking um, and we can just uh, use our gizmo to uh, to move stuff along. Control click and we'll have uh, our claw is not really going to be this tall. We're going to kind of rotate these upper two uh, points at some angles. So let's go ahead and uh, try this one at the y-axis, maybe about 315. There we go. And this one could be about 45 on the y-axis rotation. There we go. And just move these along. Uh, so they're symmetrical with the uh, base there. There we go. Something like that'll do. And then this one as well, do the same thing. Just move that along. And if they're uh, connecting like that, don't worry about it. We can just take our entire hierarchy and slide that over just to scooch to uh, connect like that. There we go. And now let's take uh, this uh, part here. Make sure we have the top part selected. Control click and drag this. Now let's put that back at zero on the rotation for the y-axis. Drag it over. So it's just symmetrical with all the rest of the stuff. There we go. We have almost a spitting image of the uh, claw that we had in the uh, project file. So let's go ahead and connect these to each other. Uh, but what I want to do first is rename them again. Uh, like I mentioned to avoid confusion in the hierarchy later on. So let's select the uh, upper hinge here. We're just going to call this lower left according to its uh, position. Lower L and this one um, accordingly we will call this uh, mid L and this uh, upper one right here 
can go ahead and call this uh, upper L and then uh, vice versa on the uh, right hand side. So we'll just call this one lower R. And then we also have mid R, mid R, and also upper R. Oops, upper R, there we go. And for the last one, we can select uh, whatever name we'd like. We can just call this one uh, claw. That's gonna be the name of our prop. And pretty much we have everything good to go. So let's do the same uh, procedure again and attach the uh, lower parts to the uh, higher uh, upper parts here. Um, so I'm just gonna attach it, the lower L to the mid L. There we are, mid L. Let's go ahead and attach that to the upper L. And upper L, we can upper L. We can go ahead and uh, attach that to the uh, claw. And uh, same thing for the right side. So lower R, attach it to the mid R, mid R, attach it to the upper R. So this is going to um, be our hierarchy uh, that we're going to be using for our claw. So attach this upper R to the claw. There we go. So now you can see we have our claw with uh, two arms right here, um, all organized accordingly. Uh, and with the good naming conventions and all that stuff. Now what I want to do is uh, merge this all together just like I did before. Make sure we have the claw selected and just go ahead and merge that. Now you can see we only have the single prop called claw. Uh, there's no subparts, but don't worry about that. We can actually uh, transform those and edit those when we go into our edit animation layer here. I can see I can uh, twirl down my hierarchy here and we have the upper R right there. We have the uh, upper L up there. So if I select the upper L, for example, and use the E uh, rotation gizmo, you can see that I can move it like that. Uh, I'll just control Z that. Now take a look at what happens um, if I move like, for example, this uh, this ball right here, we get something like that, and that's not what we want. So we wanna make sure, uh, like I mentioned before, it's really good to name your, uh, your hierarchy uh, as you're going along, uh, as well as if I move this cylinder, you can see we wouldn't wanna move that. It's kind of just stretching this, the mesh. That's actually the cylinder mesh of the body. So the body, is, as you can recall, we renamed the cylinder body, and this is the mesh um, for that bone. So we're just actually deforming the mesh there. So don't worry about that for now. We have everything named correctly. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and close that for now. Now what I want to do is bring in my avatar uh, builder. So let's go open up the content manager, and we'll go to our uh, avatar toolkit volume two um, right here. Just double click our builder, double click our controller. We can uh, minimize the controller for now with the builder. Uh, we also need to uh, go to our actor tab right here. Uh, make sure we're in the avatar toolkit volume two. Bring in a dummy non-human character. So we can actually define our uh, prop here as an accessory. So with the claw, we can just right click that, attach it, and attach it to our dummy non-human character. And now it is an accessory, and we can go ahead and define it as an accessory with the avatar builder. So let's go ahead and select accessories, and then select our claw. So we can just rename the nodes, no worries about that. Let's go ahead and bring this into window mode. So if I zoom out a little bit, that's a pretty big claw. Um, we can use, we can save the object type as other. We can save the object structure as single, no worries. I'm gonna change this UI type to four directional, um, vertical and horizontal here. And then we go ahead and define our root, which is just the claw. We can also use a dummy for this as well. Um, if you want to uh, be more, a little bit more organized, but I'm just gonna show you how to uh, define the uh, movement for this. So I'll just go ahead and uh, press apply on the claw root and then we'll select uh, the controller handles here. And you can see here, this is where the naming convention really comes in handy again. Uh, the claw is the base, of course. We wanna move the entire base um, with our dot controller. So you can see if I select the uh, claw base on the dot controller that everything is selected, indicating that this is the, uh, this is the papa, this is the uh, top of the hierarchy here. And with the uh, slider, what I wanna do is I wanna be able to um, uh, modify every single um, upper part of the arm uh, with the slider. So again, I'm going to select the upper L, go down, select mid L, and lower L. It's a lot easier that way because I know where everything is now. So I can just select upper R for the slider, mid R for the slider, and lower R for the slider. And I don't have to worry about all those other sub props and meshes and all that stuff. So go ahead and apply that, and let's go to next. And next here is where we're going to define our puppet behavior. Again, we can just, let's do the uh, um, dot controller first. We'll just make sure that we have our uh, default selected. And if we move our mouse up, we want our uh, entire structure to move up. So we can just uh, do something like that. We go ahead and apply that. And if we move our mouse down, so we set it to back to the normal position and maybe even bring that a little bit further down. There we go. So we'll go ahead and apply that. And preview mode, 
up and down, up and down. So we have our claw moving up and down. We don't have to do all left and right right now, but you can just do the same procedure. Um, for, for time's sake, I'm just going to move on to the uh, variation slider. And this is where we're going to get a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated, so don't worry about it. Uh, I'll select my original position and make sure we have our target handle selected and apply that. And then if I uh, move to the left, uh, the slider to the left rather, let's select that and let's go ahead and open our edit animation layer panel here. Now at the left, I can select my upper L uh, bone here. Let's zoom in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what's being selected there. Notice if I select the upper L, the entire bone is being selected here. Uh, you just see that yellow sliver right there. Uh, if I selected the ball, for example, there's no bone selected. So you want to be able to select the bones, the entire bone, uh, the, the entire structure. So let's just uh, zoom out. I just wanted to show you what's being selected there. If I press the E hotkey, you can just maybe move that out a little bit like that. Just slightly. We can select our mid L. We'll do the same thing like that. And the uh, twirl down the hierarchy and the lower L, we can kind of just move that out a little bit. So you move that mid L a little bit more as well. There we go. And we'll do the same thing with the uh, right side. So upper R, move that out like that. And mid R, we'll just move it out something like that. And the lower R, we can do the same thing. Just move it slightly out something like that. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and apply that. Now if I go into preview mode again, you can see that, all right, we have our claw half completed. So let's go to preview mode and do the same thing for the uh, right side of our variation slider. Um, so upper R, we can just close that a little bit, mid R, close it like that. And lower R, let's go ahead and close it all the way. Try and get a um, symmetrical, you can just get as symmetrical as possible. Same thing with the upper L. We'll just uh, do that. Uh, mid L right there, and whoops, sorry, we want to go to the uh, lower L down here, and just kind of close that up like there. All right, looks good enough for me, so let's go ahead and apply that, and then go into preview mode, you can see we have our claw. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff, we just constructed that from scratch in a few minutes. Let's go ahead now and close this down, go to preview mode, press OK, and then basically what we can do now is we can uh, bring up our avatar controller in the others tab, now, uh, if I go into the others tab right here, we only have a single uh, claw selected. Uh, let's try. Let's try one more thing here, though. If I uh, close, if I, uh, I'm just going to bring my builder back into uh, GUI mode here, so I can minimize it. Um, I'm going to actually save this accessory. Now, here's where I'm going to get into uh, the last part of this uh, tutorial, which is creating uh, multiple copies of the same accessory. So let's go ahead right now, and we have uh, the accessory selected, our claw selected. Uh, make sure that your dummy is not selected, that it's actually the claw that's selected. So let's go ahead and we'll save this. We'll save this as our uh, custom, let's call it a claw or something like that. And uh, so basically what I'm going to do now is if I bring the, if I double click this a claw again, we'll have two copies of the same thing. And you can see that by if I uh, move one copy to the left or right, uh, let's just control Z that. And minimize the avatar builder there. If, the, if I am in the avatar controller, I can move uh, both of them. Uh, they both move simultaneously because they both have the same values. So if I have a new project here, let's go ahead and try and uh, do that one more time. So if I go to the set, or sorry, we'll ask you have our, our dummy uh, controller in here. So if I just add in the uh, dummy controller, I can then go to the accessories. And we'll find our A claw right there. And we can add in as, as many of those as we want. So we can just call, uh, add in this one, add another one, maybe a third one. And you can see that uh, those are all basically um, added. And you can see that there's uh, multiple copies of them. Just control Z that. Let's go ahead and add in four just for good measure here. So if I have four uh, claws now, I can actually go ahead and uh, let's add in another avatar builder since we need to do that. And what I want to do is, uh, um, close down the con or we'll open up the avatar controller first again. We'll just minimize that for now though. And I want to close down the content manager. So you can see um, in our non dummy um, hierarchy, we have uh, four separate claws. So what I want to do is define separate um, um, positions for each one of these claws. So let's go to accessories and let's define the uh, first one with the zero in parentheses. So I'm just going to change this to a uh, window mode here. We're going to bring it over here, uh, maybe over here actually. Um, so what you can see. Um, if I select the uh, the default position, I just select the target handle and go apply. It's gonna not it's not gonna change the default position for the dot controller. So I'm gonna select the default position in the middle, and then I'm gonna rotate the second one 
I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis. There you go. Um, so what that's going to do is it's going to basically set the default position to right here. Now we also need to do that for our variation slider as well. If I select the variation slider um, position right there, um, I need to make sure that that's at 90 degrees and select apply. And then uh, let's take a look at the preview mode now. So you can see now that this one is going to be moving this way. And if I move up and down, take a look at basically the, we also need to define for the up and down positions, we also need to define those as 90 degrees as well. So what I need to do is go to the top one here, select our Z at 90 degrees and apply. Select the bottom one here, change our Z rotate value to 90 degrees and go ahead and apply that as well. Now if I'm in preview mode, you can see that uh, it's in the correct position. The variation slider is correctly uh, positioned right there. And we'll go to preview mode, uh, press OK. Let's do the same thing for the other one. So we'll just kind of have uh, a number of different claws here and we'll see uh, see what it looks like in the in the end there. So I'm going to select accessories, uh, claw one, do the same procedure here. But this time we're going to select this one. And we're going to change the z-axis to 45 degrees and apply. And we'll select the default value here and apply that as well up. I want to select that to 45 degrees on the z-axis and apply down, set it to 45 degrees on the z-axis and apply and then press OK. And then we're going to define our last one as well. So the last one, claw two, we can select claw two and just go ahead and uh, default position for this one, I believe is going to be 315 on the z-axis. There we go. Looks good to me. Press apply. A default position here, also 315, down 315, and apply, and up 315, and apply. Okay, so you can just see a bunch of claws all over the place. Don't worry about that. It looks kind of messy right now. Let's go ahead and press OK. And basically now if we go uh, co uh, close down this and go into our avatar controller, let's select our dummy uh, character right here, go to other, and let's go ahead and uh, puppet this. So you can see now we can puppet everything together. So it's all got into place right here. We have our uh, super claw, I guess you can call it right here. And we can kind of uh, use the variation slider to uh, open and close all of those uh, different claws all together. So you can see it's a pretty cool example right there. And that's about it for this tutorial. I basically just wanted to show you how you can create your own accessories from scratch. Um, these are very simple primitives, like I said, but if you're using actual props with uh, materials and textures on them, it'll look a lot cooler. Um, you can, of course, uh, you know, map uh, textures to these uh, primitives as well. And I also wanted to show you how you can create multiple uh, copies of the uh, same accessory to kind of just add on to your accessory, make it a little bit uh, more advanced, a little bit cooler looking. And uh, that's about it. So uh, thank you for watching. And... Uh, I hope you enjoy using the Avatar Toolkit.